Hi. <laughs> This was a dumbass pretty This was a dumbass way to open the video, but I'm keeping it anyway. <laughs> I tried to run over over here. Oh, see if I can show you guys. I tried to run off of what right there. Just try and lean over, but it didn't work anyway, so So that failed! <laughs> no one's home, so I can be as loud as the hell as I want, so. There we go. This is how we're opening this video, aren't we guys? Oh well. What is going on, buddy? My name is Zilla Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. And today we're gonna be reacting to somebody completely different. Today, that's you know, first time on the channel who also has the same name as me, just spelled a little bit differently. I'm gonna be reacting to Chills today. Eleven, his video called Eleven Three A.M. Videos You Should Not Watch at Night. Well, it is currently nighttime. It is 7:25 over here where I'm sleep, where I live in New York. But it's winter time, so the clocks have changed. So I'm gonna watch this anyway. 11 3 a.m. challenges, you should videos you should not watch at night. Well, I'm taking the risk, and hopefully I don't scare the shit out of myself. So here we go in three, two, one, a go. I chills. It said that 3 a.m. is when most paranormal and scary events happen, and as these videos show, it might just be better to go to bed oh, early no, it's instead. Not a police officer. Number 11. Here we go. A ghost hunting channel called Holy Walkers is exploring an abandoned Turns building one, at 3 a.m. to catch some spirits on video. Also, really random thing I just want to say real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm pausing the video. I love watching videos about the paranormal world. What? Um, okay, never mind. My, I just love watching videos about the paranormal world. It's amazing. I, watch, I love reading about and watching videos of urban legends, the SCP Foundation. Other stuff that has to do with the paranormal world, the guy I can't think of the word of at the moment. But I just love, it's an interesting topic for me. It's an interesting thing for me to, just to learn about. Anyway, let's continue with the video. The first thing <laughs> they notice is a discarded bike and a pile of clothing in the front yard. So either people occupy this building, or something extremely terrible happened here. They keep thinking they hear voices, but nothing is really getting picked up on video. One thing they do record, though, is a noise that sounds like a firework or a shot. That definitely sounds like a shot to me. I think this sound might be paranormal, because it's hard to tell its exact location, which means it might be residual energy from a bad event. After a bit of searching, they find a discarded round on the floor. While they are pondering yeah, somebody's what definitely happened fired a bullet. here, they hear another phantom shot and all go running. That sounded close by. I would get. Out. I would have gotten out there too. Either someone was trying to scare them off, or something seriously paranormal is there. That gunshot Number was 10. really close to them. Two friends stand in a creepy gray <clears throat> shed sounded in the very middle close. of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they now, hear why a quick people... sawing motion on the. Why do people do this at night? Just gotta ask, why do people do this at night? I wouldn't do it. Other side of the wall, they're <clears> standing by, followed by some white orbs. In the morning, and it's um, <laughs> pretty fucking creepy. What the f was, that? Was, that? was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside oh, to investigate, accent? the door accent, slams behind the them. Number. Except there's just one problem there's no door, and there never was. A toy shack? What the f man? But now they are freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Girl, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, what the Nah, what the f At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they yeah. both escape. Get the hell out of there, Number guys. Number nine, a <clears throat> YouTuber named The Legends TV is exploring a tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stenciled message on the wall. It's a rant about some. Oh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna say something really quickly that I want to do that's paranormal related. I'll say it at the end of the video, <clears throat> but I just wanted to pause you guys to let you know. So stick to the end. I will tell you guys what I want to do when I in the future. But probably two years from now or so, maybe less. I don't know, we'll see. Someone who doesn't <clears throat> want to take their medicine or live in a hospital anymore. Perhaps made Wait, sorry, by someone back. who does I am sick and I don't want to take my medicine anymore. 
please no more hospitals and please do not pray for me. Doesn't want to take their yeah, medicine yeah, yeah. or live in a hospital <clears throat> anymore. Perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here to further that, support Isn't that a storm theory. drain? They find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty water, and tucked under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I oh, know, this shit. could be a trap set by someone who is not right in the head. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall. What the fuck Almost is that? like someone's scalp. Number 8. It's late Ew. at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman is. Soon the cameraman realizes their female friend is no longer with them, and as they head upstairs they see her getting dragged into a room. They try to go back downstairs but there is someone blocking their path who appears to be possessed with a group trapped inside the house. They are eventually each picked off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again. And though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable fake. to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real or a skit. Number Under seven. red alert. Hold up, we're gonna do a little bit of research really quickly. Under red alert. Can't spell alert right. Under red alert. Channel. Filtered channel. Hold uh, one second. Red alert, here we go. Go away. Yes, go away. Man, it's fake. Because this was eight years ago. And the more videos came out since. So, fake. Fake! Or a skit. Number <clears throat> seven. Definitely a, a skit. A YouTuber named Just <clears throat> Cryptic is on a mission to fully explore an abandoned school that's ready to fall to the ground. Look how close he comes to dropping through the floor without realizing it. Oh, oh snap. Honestly, dude, I have the Oh yeah. shit. Dude, look at that. Look at That's that drop. A hard drop bro. Gonna... He doesn't oh, fully shit. notice how wide the crack is until he's already well past. Rubble on the floor could conceal more holes the same size or bigger, so no step is truly safe. Worse still, they keep thinking they hear noises coming closer and closer, until finally something is in the same room with them. They all pause and slowly turn around. It's too dark to tell for sure, but for a full 10 seconds they swear they see a hooded figure in the shadows. Let me know if you can too. If this was a person watching them, they Doesn't chose not like to it. advance, instead remaining in the far corner until just Cryptic slowly turns around and takes his leave. Number 6, yeah, get the hell a out YouTube of there, man. channel called Explore. Why do you go to the cemetery at night? To communicate with the other Why? Side of the cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit Japan. box and waits to be contacted. Why do you? Soon sense the Why do you go to a cemetery in the middle of the night? That's never a good thing. Just goddamn white people. I'm mad at my own kind. The presence of a lonely <clears throat> ghost in a single word comes across their equipment. Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. Japan. 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 It's the Japan. It's the Japan. The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. What they're jealous, jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now. But curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. <laughs> More spirits seem really to find tell. Eric, and by the end of the video, an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. I think this voice is real, because the spirit box only gets a little bit of activity at first. 
and finishes with a chorus of voices. Number five, a YouTuber Never go to named the Bros night, God guys. Game is convinced Never. that his local graveyard <clears throat> is haunted, but the only way to find out is to grab a friend and record there at 3 a.m. They haven't even entered the main courtyard before they hear something approach. But if you guys see anything that I've... What was that? Smoke follows them throughout their exploration, even though there are no Whoa. flames at any point in the video. After following a dirt path for a while, they come across a broken rope suspended from a gnarled old tree. It's pretty obvious to me that it must have snapped under someone's weight, though where they are is not clear. A Did short while themselves? later, one of them thinks they feel <clears throat> something grab their arm and quickly hurry out. Certainly a smart choice. Number four. It's 3 a.m. and a YouTuber by the name of KG Talik is ready to summon the spirit of Bloody Mary. He turns out the lights and calls for her, with nothing but a plastic hair pick on the counter to defend himself with. Upon Why? Upon recitation of her forbidden name, he sees movement from the corner of his eye. Something on the other side slaps and scratches at the shower curtain and then promptly vanishes. He shows the bottom of the tub to prove it's really empty. It takes all of his courage to stay in the room and resume the ritual, but he doubles down and says her name three times again. This time she is even madder than before. Bloody Mary. Bloody What the? Yo. The shower curtain rustles as if someone is waiting on the other side, but when he pulls it back, once again no one is to be found. Number three, Kashal Singh is performing a stunt in India called the Dry Bones Ritual. For those who aren't familiar, this is Please where you conjure me. a demonic spirit who will try to track you in your own home. If you can- <coughs> Oh shit, ad, hold up. <coughs> this sounds like interesting. I didn't know my potential. Now, I'm not saying I'll ever do it, I never will. getting caught, <coughs> you are spared, but first you need to get the spirit- Sorry, repeat that again? India called the Dry Bones Ritual. <coughs> For those who aren't familiar, this is where you conjure a demonic spirit who will try to track you in your own home. If you can hide without getting caught, you are spared. But first, you need to get the spirit's permission to play. To do this, Kashal has to light a match, and if it stays lit for 15 seconds, he may proceed. As you can see, the match lasts exactly 15 seconds. 13, 14, 15. Kashal now has the demon's attention and may continue. Why would you the mess with demons? The next step is to acknowledge the demon's presence and Why? welcome it to play. Watch this part and tell me if you would be brave enough to say this three times in the dark by candlelight. Because I'm not sure if I would dare. I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my house. Come now. Hours pass in the darkness until there's only 30 minutes left at 3 a.m., at which point he will be safe. But just when he is beginning to doubt the ritual, he is discovered. <laughs> at this point, you're supposed to make a run out of the house as fast as you can, but Kashal is too afraid to move. He makes the mistake of staying put and the candle extinguishes. Tell me if you think this part is the work of a spirit or not. Number 2. When a YouTuber named Dre Nation is walking home at 3 a.m. in his native country of Jamaica, he begins to worry about what could happen to him at such a late hour, so he starts recording a video to make himself feel safer. The road he is on is not well lit at all except for the occasional street lamp, and most of the video is nothing but darkness. Few people are up to any good at this hour and every passing car fills him with dread. After marching through the night for some time, Dre senses something watching him from afar. He spins around and thinks he sees something, though I don't think it shows up on camera. Let me know if you see something under the street lamps in the distance. So far, go from there. Look, what's that? Soon he hears a pack of stray dogs barking from far away. I'm so f***ing scared. It sounds like they are gaining on him, but it's impossible to tell how many of them there are, or how close they are because he is now fleeing down the darkest part of the road. He doesn't huh. want to trip over something and snap an ankle while running full speed yeah, in the pitch that, black night, so he isn't fast enough and eventually they catch up with him. Thankfully, the dogs turn out to be too small to do much of anything. 
but that doesn't stop them from giving him an awful fright. He eventually composes himself and completes the rest of the way home. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my <laughs> Instagram at- See, both of our names are, really, are actually Dylan. Except my name is spelled D-I-L-L-O-N. He spells it D the standard way, D-Y-L-A-N. So, it's good to see another YouTuber with the, with the same name, just spelled differently. <clears throat> my throat is like fucking up right now, so. At Dylan is chilling, YT. Let's keep to finishing this. Out. Oh yeah, he's on Instagram. Like narr- I have to find him. Generous enough to hit the- also, I have Instagram now. I haven't put the link yet. I just need to get to, to do it first. I have Instagram now, guys, so. Hey! Subscribe button and the bell beside it. Then thank just look up Zella Prince my on Instagram and you'll find me right there. I now has been uploaded, but do not watch it. Please, please, please don't. Also, don't forget I upload a new YouTuber works in an office building with a reputation for being haunted. So he waits until nighttime to start recording a video for his channel. At 3 a.m. the lights go out at random. Look closely and you'll see a shadowy figure dart across the doorway moments prior. It's still... A short oh, while later, the speakers one room over turn on by themselves and play a haunting melody. Watch his reaction and tell me if you think he's acting surprised or if this really happened by itself. Oh, I think you can time it or something. No, I can't freaking time it. Just when things are getting back to normal, the lights cut out again and this time if you look closely, you'll see a figure with long hair over its oh, face shit. standing in the doorway. These are 13 videos that many are not brave enough to watch i kind of i already watched that video okay guys that was an interesting video i'm I, i'm actually i'm not actually that scared now because i watched it i'm not scared oh even though i did look out my door even and it's clearly open but still nothing happened really too much to scare me the, the thumbnail did interest me though that's why the main reason why i watched it chills i need to watch more of your videos man i need to i <laughs> i just need to because I watched a bunch, a few of your videos in the past. I just haven't gotten around to really sit down and watch proper videos. Like, I haven't been able to sit down and properly watch some freaking anime. I haven't been able to watch full episodes lately because of how busy I've been with college stuff. And, you know. But regardless, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy these reaction videos that I've made this, this week. I will try and get back on the roll as soon as I can. But this week... On today's the tenth, plus the eleventh, Friday. When the la- when the Fallen Order comes out, I will try and record a video the next day, probably because my brother will be at uh, anime anime um, anime con, whatever hell it's called. I forgot. I'm, I'm gonna be going next year too. I want to go, but regardless, he'll be there with his friends. And they're coming here actually. They come to this house. I'll see if I can get a re- uh, video done with some of them. But we'll see what happens. So, regardless, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you all in the next video. Probably a few so days later. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys all in the next reaction video. Bye. After I said that exact word, bye, I realized I made a mistake while ending off the video. I didn't exactly mention what I was going to do earlier on in the video. So what I'll mention it. I'll talk about it right now, really quickly, <laughs> and not to extend how long this video is even further. So where I live, I don't live in New York, and I'm right next to New Jersey. If you guys don't know what's in New Jersey, there's a haunted road that's called Clinton Road. It's an 11 mile, uh, well, road. I believe it's also called the highway. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. And what happens on the road in the middle of the night? Is that, is that these phantom trucks come after you. They just kind of just chase you down, basically. So, basically, what I want to do in the future, when I get my driver's license and everything else, and when I work my own vlogging camera, I want to go ahead and go onto the road and probably see if I can capture some paranormal activity. So, I hope that would be fun. And a different way, different way of content in this video. And how the reason why I know this is because of a YouTuber named Mikey Math. Shout out, by the way. I will leave a link to the description below to him. And he was basically the guy that I started watching with the Clinton Road videos. So, big shout out to him. 
And that's practically my plan for the future when I go and get into paranormal stuff. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video and this little ending, actual ending segment of the video that I wanted to go off of, but I didn't do until just now. But, uh, hopefully you guys, you guys have a good Friday, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!